Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Mixing Feedback Monday. This is my little way of giving back to the community a little bit. If you want to get feedback on your mix, just send me your mix. I'll put a link in the description of this video for how to send me your mixes. So today we're going to look at my friend's mix, Mark, and he's a great producer, a beat maker. So before we get started, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm going to do. First, we're going to do just one quick listen through, maybe just do some metering. So I can right click here and I'll go to my effects chain and choose the monitoring effects chain, which I've already loaded up. There's an EQ which I mostly use for soloing bands and also has a good visual analyzer. I have another visual analyzer right here. I got this bridge meter, which is a VU meter plus a correlation meter and just an overall kind of peak display. This is another frequency analyzer. They just look differently and have different response times. This is another loudness analyzer. This is for master tracks. Otherwise, we don't really need it. Um, again, same thing for master tracks to get kind of those luffs values and make sure that um, Spotify and other platforms aren't turning down your mix and then I got this other meter which I usually reference if I'm wondering about the left right balance of a mix so without further ado let's get to it So let's stay together, you go be my lover, my hero, you the make a the color, girl, you the make a the color, you the make a the color, don't make a the color. This world, if you are not me and you, then you have to know. See, nobody can take your place. So. I saw that thing go, you know how life I want. And of we never give up so easily. So still me they upon it. Oh. You have to remember how we started. If I know true love, but now we scattered. I saw me, I tell you, say, don't make I go low. You have to remember how we started. If I know true love, but now we scattered. I saw me, I tell you, say, you didn't make I go low. Alright then, I will remember very first time you saw you were your way. You're reflecting that gave me sign to rush you in. Make it be my decision more than ambition. I say you wanna put you into better position, sweetheart. Me, I don't want break out. And that's why me, I want you, I take out. Anytime you are see me, I do bad. Things in this world where you know, like, remember. If you are not me, I'm not them. I know for them, I come in on my yard and live. I so many broken hearts, me, I faced it before. So promised before, before you call it off. Give me that. Boy, I'm crazy tonight, yo. Girl, you the make a the color. You the make a the color. Don't make a the color. You the make a the color. Girl, don't make a the color. You the make a the color. You the make a the color. Wow, life's down in the building. Baby, get ready now. Stop up with you, don't want me anymore. I buy you a ring, I buy him, I still need a bab. If you need to love me, me can know. Cause on my wife, lifestyle me don't see more than a bouncer. Bema, me against her. From my wife, I want the army, me buama. Baby, get ready, no see. Come in one gun, I cry, I could feel right down. She said, yeah, my daddy PM. Lifestyle, I'm a GBI, I could feel right down. Don't make her the color. Don't make her the color. You didn't make her the color. Girl, don't make her the color. The first time I met you, girl, you know there was no love for me. I'm a you led me through, pushing other pains along me. Hey, baby, I'll give you my heart and forever. Hey, yeah. I go dance for you like Michael Jackson. I go fight for you like my cousin. You become close and baptize me. Hey, see, stop, I be that, yeah. Uh. 
I swear my girl self, she fine past you. Or do you be one no, but you know be two. Baby, I know my dog pan yeah, class two. Or do part when I see her, we make part two. I know if you dog yourself, or do you wish I'm a square? And turn to my cry, me mess up some crazy. Yeah, I'm worried, I'm going to lose some pain. Yeah. fucking awesome i really like that track it's just a really beautiful track and like i always say when the song is good the mixing is easier as well the track is good and all you gotta do really is to make sure everything is heard the low end is amazing like really nice and pumping the vocals were mixed really well i like the reverbs on them overall like it's a really nicely arranged beat so one thing that stuck out to me kind of from the get-go was how loud it is but by the end it was you know around minus nine lufs which which is way too loud for all the streaming platforms. So for Spotify, it's minus 14. For other streaming platforms, it's around that area as well. Yeah, you need to, you need your LUFS kind of integrated levels to go down by about um, five, which is a lot. So I think basically what had happened is that you over limited your song. Another thing you got to take a look at is your true peak maximum value, which yours is at minus three, minus two. In some places, even clipping. Whenever there's a red dot, that means that your track was clipping some video players and stuff when when something gets to minus two or minus three especially consumer grade uh, kind of audio players and audio systems they will turn it down because they don't have the clipping set at zero and they have it set a little bit further down just as a safety because consumers may just turn something way up and then blow out the speakers right so that's the first thing you gotta fix obviously you can't just turn down your master track 5 db because yes that will bring down your uh, lufs value but also your true peak max then goes down a lot so if you turn it down 5 db then your true peak max is minus 5 db which is way too quiet so you don't have to do much mixing but you definitely need to do a remastering there definitely make sure you're not over limiting um so bring up the threshold of your limiter and make sure that you're not over limiting it, this yulian loudness meter and it's free so download that and as you're mastering your track kind of put this on your uh, monitoring effects and uh, analyze it that way i was also checking the phase of your track and phase is fine no problems there but again yeah as you can see it's peaking and also the vu meters were kind of just stuck at minus three right so your track wasn't pumping it was just always high 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 it will just have a lot more kind of a pumping effect once you get the meter to kind of hover around this area and then pump a lot so like when your kick hits it can go to minus three for a second but then come back and kind of settle around this area that's how i use a view meter anyway to make sure just like how much i'm really moving the needles right so you don't want to just up 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 all the time so definitely remastering would be your first thing to do another thing that i noticed by using this as you can see whenever it goes above this zero line in any frequency band that band is clipping so um your low end sounds really awesome but it is distorting and uh, some distorting is desirable but if you're if you're doing that kind of 
distortion that's got to be in the mix and then you got to turn it down to make sure it's actually not clipping that band so you're you know around the 60 hertz band you're definitely clipping a lot from actually like really from 30 to 125 you also just have a lot of info in this range which is the 0 to 30 hertz range which is a range that we actually barely hear and most audio systems won't really hear it but you definitely can curb that a little bit by putting a low cut you know this low cut is set at 30 so it's just bringing down that amount and maybe i'll maybe you can adjust the cue so it actually what it actually does is clean up your kind of low end rumble a lot in this range but also pump a little bit your kind of sub frequencies which you have a lot of so again bring those down before on the mastering chain before before putting this on the mastering chain uh, another thing i noticed wow building is that sharp drop off kind of around the 20k hertz which happens when your um, i'm assuming your sample rate is 44 one yeah so yeah because of 44 one your um kind of highest frequency that you can attain is 2250 it's fine really but your high end is lacking so if we if we listen through <laughs> There's kind of a sharp drop off at 5k and uh, I noticed your instrument, so your bass kick, again, they sound really good, they're very loud, so you need to turn them down, but they sound really nice. Um, then some of your higher range instruments are a little bit kind of dull sounding, especially your piano and your that guitar that comes in the choruses. <laughs> Yeah, so that guitar line in the chorus, it's pretty loud. And it sounds actually pretty nice, but kind of, it sounds a little too raw compared to everything else. So it's like the only thing that doesn't really have a lot of reverb on it, doesn't have too much presence, especially like in this area, right? Which is where presence is. Um, so in the kind of 5K to 10K range, you can definitely turn up your guitar. And it's very kind of raw, um, or by raw, I mean, it's very kind of dry and upfront, even kind of sounding further up front than your vocals. So you can definitely kind of add a little reverb to it and make sure it sits in the mix better. Everything else in the mix really sit well together. And this guitar kind of pokes out, which is nice. And it's in the chorus. So um, if that's a creative, if that's, kind of, if that's kind of a conscious creative choice, then I'm totally behind it. But it, it is kind of very different and it attracts attention to itself. Another thing is that I noticed, again, these are kind of the main problems. Um, overall, it's a really good mix. You need like one hour more work on it to really get it kind of to the finish line. So you got all these different singers on this track and they all sound awesome. They're all obviously great singers and their lines are really great and kind of memorable. I really liked it. And uh, they're all kind of mixed very similarly, which is fine, except for the last person. Um, so this last singer has a very kind of low endy voice. I really like the sound, but I think your mixing can do more justice to this voice by kind of boosting a little bit the low ends more. So the, the first few singers, their, their singing range is kind of in this range, which is where you have EQ'd it, which is fine. But for the last person, I would actually definitely add some um, low end. Make sure not to cut too much of the low end in this area because their, their voice has a lot of power in it. And that power is something you can definitely, um, you can definitely um, emphasize and showcase in your mix. Instruments wise, I really like the drum and bass. They sit well together. It's just that balance problem. The piano. The, the piano is kind of really um, low end heavy and not bright enough. So you can definitely brighten up your piano a lot. You know, your vocals are sitting in this range. Your bass and drum are sitting in this range. Your snare is kind of sitting in this range with a little bit on this range. So 
other than S's really and and those kind of like patty synths, this range is really empty and it can definitely be um, added to a lot of your instruments, including a little bit to vocals, but definitely just boost this kind of range in your piano for sure. Maybe a little bit in your guitar. Yeah, so even from the still image, we can see that your low end is really high. Then, you know, about 3 dB less in this range. Um, this range, again, is kind of artificially boosted a little bit. And then it kind of starts trailing off at around 2K. There's a big dip at 5K and it goes a little up, but then it comes down. Definitely add more to this band. Try to fill up these gaps here. Though, again, like if your mix is sounding muddy and boxy to you, then whatever. This, this dB is fine. And then your sub frequencies are really out of control. So you can definitely get those more in control. The only kind of creative notes I have is regarding your snare. Uh, your snare is just very kind of constant sounding. Uh, let's, let's hear it one more time. So, you know, it's a pretty simple like ta, 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 ta. And it sounds really constant and it lacks um, like energy and character. So your kick is pumping, it's awesome. And then the snare, which is kind of like the response to a kick, um, especially in this style of music, is, is a little bit kind of underwhelming. So I would definitely maybe layer um, some other sounds with it. Or just kind of use some mild modulation to make sure the snare samples aren't just repeating like the same exact sound over and over again. But it's a little bit more, um, there's more like variation in it. Um, so those are kind of my main notes. Um, again, overall, it's a really great mix. Make sure when it comes to mastering, you don't kind of ruin your mix. It should be quite easy to kind of roll back. Just go back to your mixing stage, um, kind of pay more attention to your limiting. And as you limit, always have kind of a loudness analysis meter um, going to make sure your um, long-term and short-term LUFS values are good. So again, everybody has their own approach. For me, I like to keep obviously my integrated between 15 and 14. I like my true peak to be um, between kind of three and one. In a, in a track like this, you're definitely closer to minus one. Then you never want your kind of momentary or short term max to hit anywhere near like seven. So if they hit, you know, 10 or nine even for a really climactic part, then that's fine. And if your short term LUFS gets to 11, 10, even nine again in some circumstances, it's totally fine. But definitely these values are way too high. If you post this on, on streaming platforms, they'll definitely turn it down. And yeah, again, when they turn it down, they just kind of take your track and turn the volume down. So the LUFS value falls into a controllable range, but your true peak um, will definitely be too quiet and it would just not be as impactful on people's stereos and all those things. One way of testing your loudness is to go to loudness penalty it does have a plugin now as well but if i just drag your file in here and don't worry this is not like uploading your audio anywhere um it's just processing it and giving us an answer and then deleting it from its um, servers yeah so as you can see youtube will turn it down minus 4 db um spotify 5 db iTunes 5, these are files. So these are really high numbers and that will definitely um, affect your kind of top peak. So the loudest part of your song will now be minus 6 dB. Um, so imagine somebody's listening to a playlist, your song comes in, the previous song is way loud, the next song is gonna be way loud and your song is way quiet. So they get to your song, okay, they're like, oh, this is nice. They turn it up. Then the next song like blows their speakers and they're like, ah, oh, that guy. To kind of sum up, as you adjust the threshold of your limiter, definitely look at these values. Then just listen to your track the whole way through. And you can even automate the threshold of your limiter. So if you want the choruses to be a little more pumping, automate it to bring it down during the chorus, then bring it back up. I'll quickly also just talk about the stereo imaging of it, which uh, I didn't because it's just fine. Yeah, so um, you see now that I like turned it down. Um, I just turned down your track a little bit. You can easily see that your meter is like pumping now. So when your hit kicks, it kind of goes to minus three a little bit. Even it shouldn't really go way above minus three. When it gets stuck there, that means it's way more up. But yeah, you want it to kind of hover around this area when your track is going. Maybe when your kick hits go up a little bit and also just like coil back a little bit as well. 
Um, and that's kind of the correct way of uh, uh, achieving good pumping. Your phase is totally fine. Um, yeah, the loudness values is what you got to get under control. And the way I kind of got to this point was to turn it way down here. But now, as you can see, it's way too quiet. So it's like around minus 20 RMS and minus 18 uh, around the peaks, peaks which is um, also too quiet. So yeah, um, that's about it for today. Thank you, Mark, for sending me this mix and letting me do this video. Uh, for everybody else, if you have a mix you want me to look at, um, I will definitely, you know, I usually spend like at least a good 20 minutes on this and then edit it down. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a lot of good feedback. I'll give you a written feedback as well. And um, I'll put a link in the description box on how to send me a mix. And then, yeah, as soon as you send me a mix, I'll do a video the Monday after that. And if I get more than one mix, um, then maybe I'll do two videos or three videos, whatever. I just want to help the community out. And this this also is educational for me. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mark, for sending me the mix. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.